Welcome to the show. My guests today say they're here to get a new lease on life and they're willing to do whatever it takes. Please meet Erin. She says she's calling it quits with a first love. Erin, why? Well, because I'm just tired of having to be an 18-year-old house mom. Oh, you, uh, you, so you have a child? Yes, I do. And I'm stuck in the house 24-7, taking care of her, cleaning his house, cooking his food. How long have clothes. you guys been? Are you guys married? No, we are not married. How long have you been together? I've been with him since I was 14. Well, okay. And you met him during recess? <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. No. So you've been okay. So childhood, uh, childhood lovers, and then, um, so now you have a child. Your child is. She's 14 months. 14 months. Well, well, that's great. And you love your child. Yes. Of course. Okay, but you're tired of him. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. He's yeah. he's an alcoholic. All he does is chooses his friends over us all the time. He's nothing but drinking. Spends all of his money. Did you He's, know that when you, I mean. You, no, when we first got together, it was real good. I mean, we it always. It was milk and cookies. Yeah, it was 14. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we was, yeah, we was best friends. I always came first. Yeah. And <laughs> now it's just all about him. And, and he doesn't help take care of your child. No. I yeah. mean, yeah, he pays for her diapers and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, getting up in the middle of the night, changing her diaper, giving her baths. No, he don't do nothing. Oh, okay. So why are you here? You, you, what, do you want me to I'm babysit? I'm here to tell or? him yeah. I am leaving him. You're leaving him? Yes, I am. Any particular, other than you're just tired of him or you found someone else? Or? Um, well, I've kind of found somebody else. Oh, and, well, yes. okay. <laughs> How did you meet this other guy? Um, well, one night, me and Eric, we was fighting real bad. And um, Eric had left. He went somewhere. Yeah. And uh, he came over, asking me if I was okay, yeah. just, you know, being my friend. Sure. And so I kissed him, and we had sex. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm no, okay. I'm <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> but, yeah, and... Now, do you want to be with this other guy? Oh, no. No, it was just, it's just, he's my friend. Oh, so you just want to be free and... Yeah, I want to be single. I want to go live my life. I want to be able to go back to school and hang out with my friends and... And be with other guys. Yeah, well, no, guys. not be up with other guys, okay. well, but... No. <laughs> All right, well, he's not watching, so he doesn't know this now. You're going to tell him here. So how about a nice hand for Eric? <laughs> 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 Welcome to the show. You know, you guys, she's saying that you've been together since the age of 14, through your childhood sweethearts, right? That's right. Yeah. And you have a child? Yes. And how is the, uh, well, it's not a marriage, but how is the relationship going? Well, I think it's pretty good. I mean, you know, it's a little hard, you know, raising a family, but I mean, I try to do the best I can. Okay. And do you love her? Yes, I love her to death. What do Eric, you want? I brought you here today to tell you that I don't want to be with you anymore. I'm tired of being a stay-at-home mom, doing your laundry, cooking your food for you all the time, and you not appreciating it or giving anything back to me. What do you want? I want to be single. I want to do what I want to do and not have to worry about it. Is there someone else? Mm, kind of, sort of. Kind of? Who's that? Blake. Black. Yes. How could you do this to me? Eric, Why would you bring me here to tell me this? I don't know any other way to. I've told you numerous times, and this is the only way I could think of doing it. a little bit bad? I mean, because I assume you have some feelings for him. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad, but I'm, I'm done. I'm tired of it. I'm going to be with me and me only. 
Uh, and you really have told him this on? Yes, numerous of times, and he just won't listen. Okay, I'll be back. She says you, um, you don't pay attention to her. You're always out with your friends. She claims about drinking and stuff like that, and you don't share and take care of the kids. Is she not telling the truth? I mean, you, you do take it. You do help take care of the kids. Yes, I love my daughter to death. Yeah. Well, she. You've been faithful to her. Yes, always. And you always tell her you love her. Yes, always, every day. Then why do you think she's acting like this now? I don't know. She says she wants to go back to school, but I told her I'd support everything she wanted to do. Anything she wanted to do, I'll just support her. Well, it sounds like she's making a lot of this up then, if what you're saying is true. Because the picture she gave, and I'm not saying she's right, I'm just saying the picture she gave was that you had the feeling that you guys met when you were 14, probably not yet ready to have a child, but you had a child, but now you don't want to deal with the, that responsibility. You're a young man. I'm ready to grow up. You are. Yes, I've got an apartment, a job. Why don't you come out and talk to her? You want to go and talk to her? I think she needs to, to hear from you now. I mean, she chose this forum. You tell her what you think, the stuff you're telling me. It's fairly persuasive listening to you because it's not the picture she painted. And at least I want to be able to ask her, say, wait a second, this is a guy who says he has a job. You do have a job? Yes. That he has a job and that you, you're willing to pitch in and help take care of the child and you love her. Yes, I do. I can't live without her. I tell you what, yeah, she she did say, and that's fair, I'm reminded of that, she did not say she wants to be with this other guy. She's talking more about freedom than falling in love with anyone else. She pretty clearly stated that she hasn't. So if you want to come out, I won't have any other guy, there's no fighting or anything, just you talk to her and tell her what you feel, rather than me just translating the message. Why don't you come out with me, and I'll make sure the other guy doesn't come out, okay? It's just you two. I don't worry about it. But I, I don't want to turn it into a... Because I can see you from here. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to let you two talk. But in fairness, the story I got from him, and look, I haven't met either of you till five minutes ago. Um, what I get from him, and you know, we do a lot of these shows, but I gotta say that his response is not a response of, hey, who cares, I'll find another one. He really does appear to be sincere in saying that he loves you. I'm not suggesting he's acted appropriately all the time, but he doesn't have another girlfriend. He says he does have a job. He says, yeah, he has a couple of beers at home, but he loves his child and he'll do whatever you want. So, it's not some totally irresponsible guy. That doesn't mean that your feeling of wanting to be free is not real either. Yeah. But the picture I kind of got was the guy who's going to come out is going to be a loser. He doesn't seem like a loser. Why don't you two talk? What do you want to say to her? I can't remember what happened to you. I'm sorry. I don't. I, I, well, I want to be by myself. I want to go you back think to about school. It? No, I'm not thinking about yeah. it. I've thought about it and thought about it for the last two years. And I'm done. I want to go back to school. I want to do me. I don't... I'm done. Now, <clears throat> you're not married. No. So, are you... Well, obviously, he's still going to see you in terms of seeing the child. Oh, yes. oh, yes. And are you saying that you wouldn't want to go out with him anymore? Or, in other I words... Mean, we could still be friends and hang out together and everything else. I just, I don't want to be with you. I want to be me. I want to go and do what an 18-year-old girl does. You don't think I want to do that? I've got, I've got a family to raise, Aaron. Yeah, I know, Aaron, but all you do is you drink. And I used to be number one to you. I'm not number one to yes, you no you more. Are. No, Eric, yes, you're you always are. leaving me and your daughter to go hang out with your friends and drink beer. I and do every... not go hang out with my friends. I don't have any friends, Aaron. You I go to go, work and come home. You don't go home. You don't go hang out with your friends all the time, Aaron. No, you're I a don't. damn lie. On the weekends, maybe. No, even when you're no, no. All right. Um, 
I'm going to bring this to an end. I mean, normally our show, show is wild and raucous, and this obviously is a serious, and I, I don't want to mess anything up for you guys here, whatever your decisions are. But if you really have some thought of love for him or whatever, then I assume you'll at least still have some relationship. Yeah, we, I mean, we, like I said, we could still be friends and everything, Eric. It just, I don't want to be in a relationship no more. I want to go back to school. I want to come. She can go back to school. Not with you, Eric. No, yes, I can't. She can. No, because as soon as I start school, you're going to make up some excuse no, I won't. and I'll have to. Yes. No, I won't. Okay, whatever. It's done. It's over with. I'm done. No more playing. We'll be back. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for watching. For more Judge Jerry, click here. For more Jerry Springer, click here.